Hello guys, good morning. I'm uh, Manudir Ahmed from Kalpanik Games. Today I'm gonna teach you a different kind of music manager. Uh, it may be helpful to you. So I have went ahead and written all the script. I'm just gonna explain uh, how the script works. And I learned this script from Udemy. It's a complete developer course on Udemy. It's really good. Check that out. It teaches you very good things. And uh, so yeah, let's start. So I have customized the script. You can do it from uh, resources in the Unity folder and you can change it whatever you like so i always use reason and uh, some public things i separate my public variables and stuff like that so that's customizing and uh, first of all i did a public audio clip and array and label uh, named it like level music change array okay and what why i'm doing an array i can explain by opening the unity uh, so here is the array okay if you just uh, change, make it public you can change and everything say and then if you go to build settings you can see like how many levels you have you just have to make the array a one more better or like one more than the how many levels you have so i have three levels in my in my game right now and uh, so i did four okay and to play the music on the first level you have to make a attach an audio source and uh, make it play on awake and uh, you depending on your scene you can disable or enable the loop and that's pretty much it inexpensive about it and uh, over here going back to the script i can uh, next thing i did is a private variables audio source and if you go back to unity again you will see over here uh, there is an audio source i made it private okay so that's uh, that's why i'm making the private audio source and uh, next thing I did is void awake is a function you can check on unity more about it in script and what I'm doing over here is making a uh, like a don't destroy on load it's a method I mean like it's a command or the game object the game object is the persistent music manager and um, for debugging purposes you just want to see if it's actually loading or not so what I'm doing debug dot log don't destroy and load you can type whatever message you want to read well, and uh, plus the name name is the and the persistent music manager and an audio source I am getting the get component um, using the get component thing and uh, getting the audio source because you want to play the audio source right so I'm getting the audio source and it's a method that I'm the like uh, getting and uh, this the and that's the end of start and when the start on, on the when the start of level loaded and I'm using another method from unity if you check that on unity script it's an on level level was loaded it's checking sir if the level was loaded and uh, int level if you remember the build settings and the all the level numbers are int so I'm using an int level okay so I'm checking like audio clip because you're playing an audio clip of course and this level music like in the level the music you are want to play is uh, that uh, the one that you want to play and checking okay because you have already assigned an array remember it's an array so you're ch saying like level music change array of level level meaning like whatever level the uh, you're playing or your scene is in okay and again you were debugging it debugging and saying playing and playing clip and you're checking this level music okay so this level music you already have this assigned like this level music and it checks like the music you have assigned to the array it uh, is playing or not okay and now if this level uh, music checking if there is a music and uh, some music attached to it and you say like audio source dot clip because the audio source is a clip and playing this music the whatever music you have assigned to and audio source dot loop uh, equals to true and uh, what like uh, uh, if you go back to unity you will see like the audio source I have uh, uh, unchecked everything and I want to make it loop through the scene loop through the scene okay so uh, I'm uh, making the making the uh, making it loop through like my script and uh, playing it awake and play on awake but through the script instead of doing it manually and checking that okay so the next thing is uh, if the we, we want to change the volume or not and uh, yeah we can change want to change the volume of the sound so that's pretty much it and sums up the tutorial and uh, have a good day and I hope you understand what I did and that's pretty much it thank you